I wish I could just collect like all the currency without having to pick it up. Including the moonstones or obsidian shards or whatever they are in whichever game. This game is it's moonstones, obviously. You didn't pick that up. Uh it's just a bunch of ammo. Alright. Uh purple pistol that does okay, I guess. I picked up a bunch of skins, hold on. <laughs> I already unlocked that skin, how unfortunate. New shotgun? That looks Possibly like a new shield. Hurt. Uh new pistol? Oh it's Hyperion. Ew, Hyperion. Mm. Wait, wait. Uh a mod that I can't use, but I'll take it anyway. Well, don't you look brutal. Is this another new shotgun? Another mod that I can't use? So far none of these purple items have been worth it. This shield, however, looks really nice. I'll just pick all of the purple stuff. It's fine. It's whatever. There is a floating thing next to me, I'm well aware. Alright. What's Big this? Bastard, wasn't he? Nicely done. Keep an eye out for that creepy red one. I don't want to get interrupted. Wait. What? That's it? That little thing. The hell did... Oh, Where are the other three characters? Kind of weapon. Oh my God! I get it. I understand. I understand everything. <laughs> Handsome. Oh, he's understanding all the vaults. She just destroyed it. Ah! Oh, is that is that why he? Had, okay. I'm gonna kill her. I'm gonna kill them all. Oh, first. You're gonna find me a doctor. Then we're gonna wipe those bandit bastards off the face of Pandora. And then, then we're gonna wake the warrior. The what? It's gonna be so good. We're gonna scorch the freaking planet in fire. There's gonna be screaming. Bandits are gonna die left and right. <laughs> Can't wait. <laughs> and that is when the hero who saved us on Helios died. That was when I left Handsome Jack's employ. That's right, you're being you interrogated. Regret teaming Don't up know with why, Jack? but <laughs> Yes. Now do what you will. They're not gonna kill her. She was part of the uh, the DLC for the first game. Kill her. Not that that no. has anything. If it weren't for people oh. like her, our friends might still be alive. Ready? This ain't us, Lil. This ain't you. Fire! What the hell? Is this the next siren? No, that's not right. This isn't between the Borderlands one and two, right? Oh shit, is this a guardian? Now is not the time for bickery, Vault Hunters. War is coming, and you will need all the Vault Hunters you can get. What? <laughs> I'm... I'm confused. <laughs> I'll just... So... I thought this took place... So the events from the game took place between Borderlands 1 and 2. I guess the interrogation scene took place after Borderlands 2, which would make sense of why there's a war coming, and they're hyping up Borderlands 3. Got it. Um, 
But yeah, uh, it's, that's the end of the game. I, in my honest opinion, I'm kind of like torn on this. It's not a, it's not the best game. There are a lot of, lot of grindy missions, uh, and then, I don't know. I'm half and half in this game. Part of it was good. It was an interesting story, but parts of it were just confusing and grindy and stupid. <laughs> Like that Toby Vaughn Adobe joke. It was like, the joke itself knew that the, it was pointless and stupid. To the point where they were like, yeah, well, this is all for nothing, and then left. And I was like, the fuck is this? Um, yeah, they didn't really do too much to differentiate from itself uh, from Borderlands 2. Memory served me correct, I think this was supposed to be DLC. And you can see that a little, because there are a lot of, like I said, a lot of missions are just no fucking reason. They're just pointless. They don't lead anywhere. They don't do anything besides some really bad joke. Like, you are my only soap, Toby Wan. I'm not going to let that one go. <laughs> I, I just know it. Um, overall, I thought the story was okay. There were a lot of things that I didn't really understand. Uh... Like, Jack's character sort of, like, he went from being this shy guy, and then you sort of see him develop as being this more sadistic guy when he kills the Merv, and you're like, okay, that's kind of cool. And then with the Felicity problem, where he's, like, he's stuck between right and wrong, doesn't know if he wants to murder her, and he, you know, he sacrifices her to save the many and whatnot. But then immediately after that, we just teleport to Helios, like... We didn't need the robot army, and you're just like, wait, we just killed the main character for this, for no reason, and and then with Gladstone, he didn't even try, he just sort of was like, you know what, fuck it, <laughs> let's just murder him, because there might be a, a, a traitor in, amongst us. Um, it also didn't make sense why Athena was interrogating her, why Athena, no, why Lilith was interrogating Athena, because like I said... Athena was introduced as part of the main group, but Lilith was introduced uh, in the bar, helped Jack retake Helios, and then was there at the final part. <laughs> you know, she was, like, there for a lot of the major points in the story, so I don't know why they were interrogating. I don't know. Um... It was cool to see the end with Jack, uh, what this vault was and how he knew that the warrior existed. Um, it was cool to see his face get burned because in Borderlands 2, they, they, they have like a, he's wearing a mask, but you can barely tell because it's his face with like tape around the edges. So that's why he has that, which is, which is cool to see. I'm assuming that's what the, the head skin we're getting is. Yeah, other than that, I mean, same old Borderlands. The loot system is all over the place. Like I said, I haven't upgraded my grenade since I got uh, the snowball, and that was, like, several hours ago. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I feel Borderlands in this weird area where they want to be an ARPG like, uh, like Diablo, but at the same time, they want to be, like, this MMO sort of game where you bring all your friends and you go raiding. Um... And I don't really think it does either too well. Like I said, the loot system is not good. The grinder was a nice addition, but it's just more RNG that's, you know, gated behind uh, having three of the same items. So if they were going to go down that route, I would have preferred, like, a workbench. You could, like, dismantle weapons you don't want, so you could, like, build a weapon you could, you know, potentially use. You could still do the RNG on the stats, but... You know, I don't want to be like, okay, let's throw three guns in together and see what I get. Oh, it's a rocket launcher that I'm never going to use. Okay, well, I'm glad that I just wasted three weapons that I picked up. Um, I mean, it's a nice step in the direction, but it's not it's not there. It's just more RNG, <laughs> in my opinion. It's just another RNG mechanic. Um, yeah, as I said, a lot of the missions feel grindy. I don't know. I don't know why, though. Like... I'm not sure if it's because we're on a smaller area instead of being on like an, a like a planet like Pandora, instead we're on a more you know smaller area. We're on the moon, um, but all of the maps felt like there were a lot of p 
people in it. Like, I don't know if the, lo the spawn locations were too close because the maps were smaller, or if there were just a lot of spawn locations in particular areas too close to each other. I don't know. There was just a lot of people. <laughs> um, what, a, what else? Loop mechanic. Characters, I think the characters in this game were more interesting than the other two games, but that's not saying much. Um, I do like the fact that they're talking more, but I feel like if they were going to give these characters that were playing personalities, why not just have full-on cutscenes instead of, like, just dialogue? Um, they also never really explained the backstory, because I, th I played the first, like, ten hours of this game believing that I wasn't a Vault Hunter, because, let's see, Claptrap's not a Vault Hunter, uh... Athena was a mercenary. Nisha was an outlaw who would kill people who were bad than her. Well, more bad than her. And Wilhelm was just another mercenary. Like, they never said, oh, yeah, these guys are vault hunters. I guess technically because we were chasing a vault, like, later half in the game. Because, like, the... I don't know. It was weird. The first half of the game was all about us getting onto Helios. And then it completely took, to, like, a 180. We're like, okay, now it's Borderlands. Let's go hunt some vaults. And I think that's where my issue was, because that was the exact same time where Jack's personality went from being, like, this anti-gray hero who does, you know, questionable things to save the many, and then he just turns into a complete psychotic killer. Um, like, at the end, he just seemed mad, you know? He, he didn't seem like, oh, I'm going to save Pandora and civilize her like he is in Borderlands 2. He's more like, I'm going to just, like rain fire from the skies and it's like oh okay that's a pretty dramatic shift there um but yeah i mean overall i thought it was okay it's a borderlands game if you enjoy borderlands you're probably gonna enjoy this i thought the movement and uh, gravity was cool but uh it, i don't know the fire weapons just seem to be nerfed because of that a lot of the missions were grindy uh uh, characters, I feel like the characters they did introduce, they didn't do much with. Like, the second we got onto Helios, we spent, like, several hours up there, and we just never interacted with Janie, Nina, or Pickles again, to the point where I even forgot Pickles was a character, and I was like, oh, this mission's for Pickle. Oh, uh, that's right, he's, he's in the game. <laughs> um, yeah, it was, it's that, it's that twist, it's that, uh, it's that moment in the game where you stop trying to get Helios, and you're trying to hunt down the vaults, that just... I think is where the game really falls apart. I don't think you need all the vaults in Borderlands. Uh, I mean, I guess because you are called vault hunters throughout the entire game, you just assume that you have to go hunt vaults. Uh, but as I said, none of them were were vault hunters to begin with, and they they had a strange transition where we just suddenly were vault hunters. Uh, yeah, as I said, Jack's character was a little weird. Um, in the second game, I thought he was a cool character, not because he was funny and sadistic, you know, that sort of like, I hate you and I want to defeat you, but at the same time, you are kind of funny. Uh, I liked him because he was a character who thought of himself as a hero, you know, he thought of himself of trying to civilize the Pandora and get rid of bandits, and, you know, he's after Vault Hunters, because, you know... Yeah, when were, when were we going with this? Oh, uh, yeah, they never they never showed what a vault hunter is compared to a bandit and how the two differ. So from his perspective, everyone could have been, you know, bandits. And it was, you know, interesting to think of, like, am I doing the morally correct thing of murdering bandits and stealing their money and gold? Like, they just stole those innocent civilians? So I thought... He was an interesting character because, you know, he thought of himself as a hero. And then in this game, he did that up to a point and then just went mad. <laughs> that's that's it. Yeah, I don't know. I think I'm just repeating myself at, at, at this point of the, so far. As I said, it's just, it's just an okay game. I think what they added wasn't enough. I thought the characters... I liked the, the new playable characters, not just because they talked more, but their skill sets were different. You know, in the first two games, they're pretty much the exact same thing. Uh, you had the female magic user, the berserker of some kind, the assassin of some kind, and uh, 
ex-military with some sort of turret. This game, they have three characters who have different abilities. Wilhelm still has, you know, flying turrets, but uh, Athena has her shield, Nisha has 76's uh, ultimate, and Claptrap has RNG mechanic number 4 billion and 2. Um, so in that regard, I think it's it's okay, but it still goes down to the, what I said in Borderlands 2. They just need more abilities per character. Like, not just skill trees, but a, a whole on uh, other abilities. Like, I wouldn't mind three abilities that have two skill trees each, or, you know, four abilities that have two skill trees each. I just feel like they need some way to break up the monotony of running around shooting people. Uh, or, in my case, running around not shooting people because I'm trying to just run through maps. Which goes back to that whole grindier aspect of this game. Um, because a lot of it was either escort missions, defending some sort of horde, you know, horde-based mission where you're defending something. Um, and you have to, like, run through three maps to get to some objectives, but then run all the way back, then run all the way back because there's more missions there. Uh, it's sort of like Diablo in the sense that there's these big open maps that you run through. But with a Diablo, you can just teleport back to the same location over and over again, and you don't have to have, like, teleporting devices in designated areas. Where I, I think if if uh, Borderlands wants to go down that ARPG sort of, you know, Diablo-style game, they have to implement that or else it's just going to get really boring running around. There are vehicles in this game, by the way, in case you forgot. Uh, there was, what, the moon buggy and the, the little motorbike hovercraft. Uh, yeah, I think we never, I mean, I barely remember using them. <laughs> That's how long ago. Because after we got on Helios, we spent, like, several hours on Helios. Then we went back, like, occasionally to the moon to drop off, like, a mission or two. But a lot of it, a lot of the later game is just running through Helios, which can get kind of boring. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's Borderlands. They still shoot things. I do think the the ice mechanic was cool that they added. Um, and the laser weapons were okay. They were alright. Um, again, it's just sort of like, it just sort of feels, the, the combat that is, it just sort of feels repetitive after a while. Which is why I think they need either new abilities, not just new weapons. Because with, with abilities, you can play around, you can, like, level up different things. With weapons, it's just like, okay, now I'm going to use my sniper rifle, and now I'm going to use my pistol, and now I'm going to use my SMG. You could probably just go through the entire game using only one weapon, you know. Well, maybe not a sniper rifle, but you know what I mean. One or two weapons. Uh, I think the backpack needs to be changed around. I feel like if you are going to give us... If they aren't going to fix their, uh, their you know, loot system and have, you know, billions and trillions of weapons, uh, then at the, the very least you should give us, like, an infinite backpack to carry everything. Because running away and running through, like, tons of just loot that I'm never going to pick up or use, uh, it's kind of annoying, really. It's just, like, I have to, like, search the ground, look at the weapon, uh, compare in my backpack and then throw out weapons I don't need, because I can't, you know, run and sell it. So I feel like if I just have an infinite backpack, will be better. And I would, as I said, a workbench instead of the grinder would have been great. Mr. Tassiter, are you there? Mr. Tassiter's been replaced, sweet cheeks. Starting today, you're working for me. Who is... John, is that you? Call me Jack, honey. <sighs> yeah, see, there's his mask. Handsome Jack. Handsome Jack. Borderlands a pre sequel. Yeah, that's it. We're done. I'll try and put my my final thoughts in a more cohesive and non repetitive manner <laughs> in the descriptions. Oh. Uh I love picking up a purple shield and finding every other shield is better. It's a lot of a lot of fun that is. All right. 
right, all right, I hear you, I hear you. Stop crackling at me, please. Uh, so yeah, I guess that's it. Um, I do want to turn things in before I go. I do believe that there is uh, a Chromax fight type thing in this game, uh, which I, to this day, have not done yet. I don't think I've done it with Borderlands 1, let alone Borderlands pre-sequel. AKA, I'm, I don't think I'm going to be doing it now. Um, Jack's office. Claptrap jokes. That's another thing I got bored of real fast in this game. <laughs> oh, hey. He's approved what? Let's see. Other people's ideas. Uh, opportunity schedule. Hyperion City Project Building Plans. Base level. Oh, this is from... This is all the stuff he needs and... Or uses Don't in Borland's Don't you too, have I guess. enough on your plate already? New playthrough mode unlocked. True Vault Hunter mode. Alright. So, now that I've completed everything, I do want to go back and head to... Are there no new missions? Hold on. I have one in Concordia and one in... Virago Solitude? Have I ever been there? I don't... I don't even remember going to that location. That's another issue I have with this game. You like very. Yeah. It's like one or two missions in each location, and then you're gone forever. Virago Solitude is out. Okay, so that was one of the last few missions. Got it. Is this like a, an actual mission, or. Is this in one of the corners I haven't. It is in the corner that I haven't gone to. I made a joke about how I went to every corner except. Except this. I did find it a little odd. Uh, I did find it a little odd that right at the end of the game they threw like three missions. Three or four missions per area just randomly thrown in. Like right at the end. It's like, oh, you're on the final mission. Oh, yeah, by the way, here's more missions. It's like, but I'm trying to complete the game. Not, not hear Toby one jokes. Oh, Toby, Toby Van. Sorry. Toby Van Odobi. God, I can't remember his name. <laughs> I'm never letting this joke go. It, it was just so it. underwhelming. Uh, I just went through the floor. Easy day. Ah, this actually looks like. Oh wait. How you going, mate? <laughs> All right. Oh, oh yeah, good weapons. on here. These Iridian guardians are real tricky buggers, and my job's to round them up. I don't know why they asked me. I wanted a desk job. I'm not the outdoors type. Still, they gave me these snare grenades. Traps the fellas inside. Oh, is when this supposed to be a crocodile hunter? Do it right. The first thing we need is one of all the guardian wraiths. Let's kick off with fire. You can kill as many of the things as you like, but the blokes who sent me want a live one of each kind of guardian wraith. So that's a guardian wraith when they've transformed into their fire. Shock, corrosive, and cryo forms. I know where to go, so check your echo and stick with me. I do not want to do this mission. <laughs> I do not want to do this mission. <laughs> if it's anything, if it's anything like that, like that other mission we did, where we had to, like, shoot 
the guy with fire, then punch him, and then collect the thing he dropped. I don't want to do this mission. Nope. Why? Uh, uh, that's another thing. This mission explains why they can have different forms, right? They're like, oh yeah, there's a fire, there's a corrosive, there's a cryo, an electric form. But we're not going to teach you that until after you beat the game. I feel like they haven't really explained anything about these guardians. As much as I want to know, it's like they're not going to tell this to me. You know, because it's like, I want to know more about these these guardians. Why are they fighting? How are they connected to the, to the vault? But so far, they're just like, uh, no. <laughs> we're not telling you jack shit. We're going to introduce them in Borderlands 1, do nothing with them in Borderlands 2, reintroduce them in Borderlands pre-sequel, and then again do nothing more than let you fight them. It's like, you gonna explain any of this? Where am I, how am I getting up here? Is there a, a ramp? Yeah, I, I guess. There it is. There it is. Alright, I don't want to spend all day trying to... Where is this? Con There's Concordia. I don't want to spend all day trying to murder and put people in fire and, and steal them while they're on it's just I'm assuming this is the Cromax fight Hello there, Athena. You're soy Tiny Tina. Oh, Tiny Tina. Man, will you please stop calling me that? It's weird. I've heard you were telling me stories. I want to hear one. What would you like to hear? The death of Knox? The fall of New Hay? Oh, oh, never mind. I got a better idea. Tell me a story about a raid bot. I don't know what that is. What do you mean you don't? How do you not? Shush, baby, shush, 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 shush. Your big sister's got this. <clears throat> then Athena and her three sister. other pals went to the inner core of the moon. Do I have to go with friends? I can't just do it alone? Not unless you want to die. Or you found a broken ass combination of loot and you want to show off on the Echo Head. I wonder who they're talking about. <laughs> uh, yeah, but that's the, the whatchamacallit, duel. Uh, oh, that's not the Handsome Jack mask that I was expecting. That's pretty cool, I guess. Yeah, so that's, uh, that's the end of Borderlands. Um, I do want to throw some things in the grinder while I complain about the grinder. Uh, I only have 202 masks. I've got more purple shields than I've ever wanted in my life. God damn it! Uh, see, this is exactly what I mean. It's not even my level, it's level 22. Okay, if I use class mods, can I use... No, I can't because it's a class mod. No, it's a no two mask, not a class mod. Do I have any other class mods? No, they're not the same rarity. Ugh. I guess that's it. <laughs> so, defeat the invincible, invincible sentinel is the raid boss, and I don't want to go hunt guardians with a really bad impersonation of the Crocodile Hunter. So that'll probably do it for me for Borderlands the pre-sequel. I do not own any of the DLC, so I don't know if I'll ever get around to doing that. Um, it looks okay, I guess. The Clop Trap one, it could be interesting. Um, that's the only one they've released for the, for the pre-sequel, as far as I'm aware. So, until then, if I do ever get around to doing it, um, which I doubt I will, I guess the next time we'll see each other is Borderlands 3, I guess. Uh, unless you stick for the next walkthrough on the channel, which I think is going to be the next Kingdom Hearts, because I've, uh, I've, or, yeah, the next Kingdom Hearts, because I've been avoiding that for a while. That's a birth by sleep, in case you're wondering. Um, but until then, have a good day, good night, good evening, good afternoon, good, uh, good 
whatever time you're watching this, your time wizards, and uh, I hope to see you guys next time when we come back to do whatever. But until then, stay safe. I'll see you soon.